Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about the CST, my general experience of taking it, what I expected and how it actually was. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some very good practice questions for the mathematics section, which you can try yourself. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the solutions, but they're not the hardest questions in the world. If what ask your teacher or if you really want, I can post the, the answers to them, but just comment below and let me know. So yeah, so I came into the CST quite worried about the math section in particular. I was quite confident about the logic, but the math uh, and also the computational thinking I was quite worried about. I, uh, I study IB mathematics, IB uh, analysis and approaches HL, that's higher level, and we have quite a rigorous system, quite a high level of mathematics, but what worried me was how foreign some of the concepts looked to me, especially how vectors and uh, vectors are treated in the Netherlands, in the Dutch uh, syllabus. With parametric equations, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a foreign topic to me. We don't do much of that in the IB, so that's one topic I was worried about. And generally, how math is brought up, uh, and uh, in uh, in the Netherlands, uh, is a little bit weird to me. So, uh, watching the Delft a uh, course for edX course on mathematics uh, got me a little bit worried, but um, it, it wasn't that bad. I'll get to it. But I'm talking about my expectations for. Uh, logic. Uh, I, I came in pretty confident because uh, there are some resources that Delft has past uh, past papers, past exams from the actual Delft school for the class of logical uh, thinking, which are quite a bit higher level than the actual exam. So getting that practice in of those exams really helped me prepare and be confident for the actual uh, logical thinking part. And then the computational, you can't really prepare for it. Uh, maybe there's a Bebras website, I think it's called like that, where they have some questions. I mean, after uh, after completing my uh, CS, uh, CST, I looked online and I did find some quite similar questions to the computational thinking. So maybe you could check that out. Um, but yeah, the actual CST, what was it like? Uh, I think you want to hear, right? So I started off with the math. I mean, everyone does, right? Uh, since I have ADHD and dyslexia, I got, I think, 10 minutes extra time. You get an hour, I got 10 extra minutes, which really helped, honestly. And the pace was really quick. I think there was um, 30 questions for mathematics. Uh, was it? Yeah, I think around 30. I might be mistaken, it might be 20, it's either 20 or 30, you can search this up yourself. But anyways, um, the pace was really quick, I got recommended to start from the harder questions to the e then go down the easier ones to get the harder ones out of the way, but the level was um, varied from moderately easy to moderately hard, none of the questions were like extremely hard. To me, I just found the concepts a little bit presented weirdly not how i ever got asked math questions so be cautious of that and i would say do as many practice problems on edx as possible and try to familiar familiarize familiarize yourself with the logic behind some of the concepts themselves right so the math part i'd say if you do the edx course and get some uh, maybe IB past pa past paper one HL questions, you you should be prepared. But if you want to score good and be guaranteed to get in, I'd say you do have to practice for around a month before the exam minimum, if not even longer before, and honestly just grind as many questions as possible. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can say. I guess you'll see at the end of the video. Uh, some actual practice problems for the CST for the mathematics section, but moving on to logic So the logic was not that hard. It was easier than I expected and I think just by reading the book 
and doing some of the past papers which I talked about. Some of, the, some of the past exams from the actual school will help you score uh, quite well, right? And you'll do very good if you do all of that. Watch some YouTube videos if you don't understand like propositional logic, right? And I think you should be good. Um, the, the, the structure of it was uh, also from easy to hard, even though I found some of the easiest questions harder than some of the hardest ones. Um, what they what what kind of caught me a little bit off guard are uh that you need to know the definitions for all for like a lot of the bolded words that they had in the book uh, i can't i can't remember much because i did it like two months ago but yeah a lot of the uh, a lot of the definitions that they have bolded in like in boxes in the book i would try memorizing those and really trying to memorize as many definitions as possible from the book because there were some questions which kind of played upon like uh, the definition of a certain term and what how is this represented in propositional logic right it's not all just like uh, um, written problems right it's 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 they're tricky questions a play on words as well uh, some of them are but other than that I think you should be fine if you just read the book and do some of those past papers I was talking about yeah so moving on to the computational the computational section I found the hardest personally uh, they start off with quite easy problems uh, giving you uh, maybe some shapes and then you have to uh, with colors and then you have to put them in a sort of way uh, of colors and shapes with the pattern right and then these these kinds of patterns they increase much harder and harder where i mean they take they consume a lot of time right but you don't you only have an hour to actually complete everything and it, it gets quite hard i'd say i wasn't able to do maybe like five of the last questions they were very hard and plus i was running out of time um you, I don't. I don't think you can really prepare for the computational part apart from the Bebris, as I was talking about, and yeah. I mean, as long as you're good with like patterns, maybe some IQ tests. Maybe you could do that. Uh, I, I I could see how that could possibly help. I know that uh, Meta. I think they're called Meta. Mensa. Mensa. Mensa has a good IQ test online. You could try taking that. Maybe that could help. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but yeah that that's the computational thinking for you so shall we see some of the math questions right so let's get into it uh, mathematics so this is the first question uh i would consider this to be probably one of the hardest questions you'll get on the test um try it out uh, as i said i i don't have solutions for you unfortunately i could solve them and post another maybe link or a video if there's enough people who will want it but yeah take a screenshot share it with friends do whatever you want this would be a very nice practice question you could do let's move on sorry about that uh here's another one how many solutions are there to this equation uh also a similar question that uh could have could have not came up on the actual cst i guess we'll never know so yeah let's move on question three pretty simple question as i said they varied in difficulty so i tried to provide some variety for you guys the last question was definitely a little harder than this one but all you need for this one is just algebraic knowledge right question four once again just algebraic knowledge and there were like 10, 15 of similar types of questions varying a bit in difficulty and also in the topics. Some came in vectors, some came in functions, some came in algebra, calculus, right? So as long as you have a good grasp on all of them, you'll be able to solve them. Here's another one, pretty simple question, right? You just have to solve this integral, integrate from zero to ln two. And here's the final one. I wasn't able to provide more, but if there is enough people who want more, I could post and create some more questions. Uh, but yeah, just type in the comments section if you guys want some and I'll see what I can do. 
Thanks for watching.